Amen. Amen. Take one minute. Exchange pleasantries with somebody by your side. Welcome them to God's presence and be gloriously seated. God bless you. I want to use the opportunity in few few seconds to celebrate some senior friends in the house. Please, can we with Jesus' joy celebrate God's servant, Minister Joby? Please, please celebrate him. Could end them. Is that how to appreciate graces? Thank you so much, sir. Thank you, sir. You see, I was so excited when I walked in and met God's servant ministry. A few years back, we had the privilege to minister together at a crusade. And the time he gave to that ministration, it shifted our worship team. It changed their ideologies. Sir, I want to appreciate and honor the grace of God on your life. Thank you so much. How many of you saw the hunger and the fire inside all his song? If you are listening to it, it is pushing you to somewhere. With me also is a senior friend of mine, a covenant brother, a man I respect and honor so much, evangelist Emmanuel Zwahu. Please, can you celebrate him? Could then, then please celebrate him? He is, he is one person that God has given to us as a gift. His mission field spans across East Africa. And tonight, God has given us the grace to have him in the house. Please appreciate him once more. For those of you who saw me going through my tab at the course of the worship, it was because the atmosphere I came to meet has changed my message. And if you journey with inspiration, you will know when you should close your own plan and follow the motions of the celestials when men have set a thing moving if you are wise follow what is moving don't come and want to start building from the scratch again and so it was necessary for me to do a quick bible study to find the resources to build according to the direction that currently all the labors before me has invested in i can guarantee somebody that the spirit of god is here and so please it will not be a time to walk around and get distracted. Let me start because of the song that our man of God, Minister Joby, raised. Let me start by building in that direction because he touched something that is so strong, I believe, is the direction for our meeting. And most of his songs continue to echo the resolution of his soul to commit themselves absolutely to the will of he that sent them. So he sang, As long as I live, Nina Kane. It is a song for only a soul that has decided to turn their back on all the cares and the lust of this world. And it is only a soldier that has decided to honor the will of his commanding officer. It is that person that sings this song. You can sing that song in your mouth, but if your heart is not involved, the song does not invite you. And so it necessitates that I start, and I will not stay long with us tonight, but this teaching necessitates that I start by giving the history the history of man the history of man where did you start from I will start by building from Adam then I will come back to every one of us so we'll see the same pattern playing out before man was given the opportunity to enter the physical world the physical creation we had the fellowship of the triune God saying and God said, Genesis chapter 1, verse 26, Let us make man in our image and after our likeness. That time that scripture said, God said, God said. Can somebody say, God said? God said. Come on, say it like you mean it. God said. God said. It was that time that man was created. But the form, the word, 
actually created in man it is his spirit it is the spirit dimension of man that God's word created that time God is saying let us make man the spirit of man was being formed by those words that he used to describe what he wanted to form that's why scripture says the words that I speak they are spirits and they are life and so the spirit that has been created by the word of the life-giving spirit was waiting for a body to be designed for it so that it can step in through the three-dimensional world the body that was designed is only a ticket to enter the three-dimensional world you too there was a groaning in your family there was one day that your dad waited and looked at his life checked the whole issue going on and asked the Lord to intervene the response your father got from heaven the statement God made as touching that situation is the formation of a spirit called you so when they looked at your mother and they laughed and said look at this yeah yeah woman with only one rapper with this top top sander as they laughed at her and she went to cry to God and say you who lift men can you change my story as God says I will change the story I will change the story became a spirit waiting for me to come and change the story so this is how you too your story started your history started with God creating your spirit from a set of words he used to describe what he wanted to do so everybody is a prophecy waiting to happen the challenge with the three-dimensional world is that Satan has colonized it so in 2 Corinthians chapter 4 verse 4 scripture says and Satan the God of this world he has he got that thing he was looking for he has become the master of the physical creation the sense based realm but all of God's prophecies are targeted to that realm where Satan is the God how do you do when something has taken authority over a realm and God has an initiative in that realm but Satan has become the God of that realm and so the arrival of Jesus into time all of a sudden sir astrologers and stargazers came from the east came to Jerusalem and came to ask questions where is he that is born king of the Jews for we have seen his star do you know your star do you know that there was a message in the constellation the day you appeared into time and what immortals call a star is not a bright reflection if you read the prophetic language of the apocalypse a star means angel if you read revelation chapter 12 i think verse 4 you will hear the scripture says and with his tail it threw down one over three of the stars of heaven everybody knows what they call star there it is the host of the angels one over three of the host fell with satan and now they are saying there is a star that we saw and the, when we did our permutation the meaning was that the king of the jews has been born mind you the people who did this permutation and accurately discern that a mighty weapon of zion has entered time they were not christians they were not holy men they were not Sanhedrin's or Pharisees or Sadducees they were not scholars of the law they were Gentiles from the East you will soon know how Satan knew you you will know why Satan is giving your life attention very soon because you will know that if astrologers by themselves can diagnose who in that time using the star that they saw some of you the spirits and many temptation is hanging around your life on account of the angelic interest that they saw around you they were creatures that escorted you into time and they know that you can never fulfill your destiny if they don't help you so the powers that be inside time they are gazing and scanning anytime they watch certain clan of angels enter time they know that god has a will in this life let's go and stop it so at age nine you are already bound with addiction they didn't give you breathing space because they know what was the description around you where is he that is born king of the jews what question did you think they asked when you enter time where is she 
that was born a savior of the Bahagos clan. That prophecy that God spoke, the prophecy now entered time and the powers that limited the family, they are still hovering around. Now they are investigating. Where is this one that has been born a deliverer? And you don't know that we are at war. That's why you are living your life carelessly. You don't know the things that are happening. The permutations in the spirit. That's why you can easily yield to the yearning of the flesh. If you know, he says, I send you as sheep among wolves. The territory you are going to go and carry your mission at is a dangerous It's wolves that are there. For you, I send you into that place as sheep. To tell you the things I share with you is not only, they were not just wise men. That is all the physical world can describe them as. But these men had the ability to peep into the ordinations of men. So they knew accurate Jesus' real intent from entering time. They say, where is he that is born king of the Jews? You think they did not ask questions about you? Do you think that the mirrors and the calabash of your bloodline did not ask questions when another child was born into the bloodline who is this that enter time and receive, received informations that this is the deliverer of the bloodline and on the account you know who you are by who Satan sent to stop you you will know your true identity by who they sent to stop you so some of you from small there was no breathing space Satan made sure he got you into many addictions it is like drug you have to be taking it so that you will remain under the influence of that drug because if you give that person a breathing space the hair of something can grow again so they create if you are here and you have a struggle with an addiction you are the one i came for that addiction is a program in darkness to keep men under certain dose of sin every day because if they, there are people in this place if you can mistakenly hear my words mistakenly be consistent for one month with God you will carry a grace that your generation has never seen and that is knows so they need to put you through an epileptic Christian life up today down tomorrow even with this your rising and falling state see how the power of God is strong on your life can you imagine what will become of you if you take your time and build consistency with this your rising and falling state look at how your eyes cannot go without peeping into tomorrow every night you close your eyes and god is showing you everything as touching the destinies of men around you imagine what becomes of you when you pay the price and on to god it's an ancient war the least of your concern is this your body the mission was clear Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 5 he says before I formed thee in your mother's womb I knew thee sanctified thee ordained thee a prophet unto the nations you were already a creature and they said in Genesis chapter 1 verse 26 and God said let us make man who is man so from time to time the immortals open our eyes to what they they call man one of it is they say men ought always to pray and not to faint if you are not praying you are not a man because a man was designed to be a creature of prayer you need to be interfacing with both realms you are in the physical yet you are present in the spiritual you can be in the throne room right there with god yet your feet is taking steps on the earth and if you are not a creature of prayer you didn't meet the definition of what man is if you find out that all your investment all you are caring about is the body you buy it clothes give it food barb his head take your part with it and you don't give any attention to the growth of your spirit another thing that they gave according to the template of the immortals they say man shall not live by bread alone if you are being sustained only by bread alone you are not a man the spirit realm don't know what to call you and that's why the mandate of dominion creation cannot obey you because if you look at the design sir the goats never ever tills the ground the birds doesn't have a farmland inside the system of design god created the earth to have to serve and feed creation 
but now man that was supposed to be the head of creation has lost his image so even the earth does not recognize who you are again that's why you need to sweat before you eat because they don't know they are looking so scripture says the ns expectation of creature they are waiting for the manifestation of the sons of god they cannot wait to salute the gods again and psalms 82 says i say unto you that ye are gods all of you are children of the most high god he says but you die like men man. who are you tonight who are you have you taken if you don't find out your identity life will describe you and when life gives you a description it will be a negative inclination a woman was given valid names by her parents and life chose to call her the woman with the issue of blood that was the only record they gave concerning her yet parents called her valid names but if life gives you a name it will, be, it will name you after your condition who are you who is that mighty weapon hiding somewhere in Kudenden and no knows you yet and your first manifestation will start by journeying backward into the books of eternity and find your identity who am I who am I is, is a title of a retreat you lock the door and say Lord who am I why did I enter time all of a sudden the, the, the need to give light to that question you will find the encounters that produces the answers to your questions Jesus. Oh, 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 oh. It's a song of ordination. Oh, 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 oh. Who am I? not of. Tell me why Satan has been attacking me. Tell me why they are not giving me space. Lord, can you show me my identity? Why am I under so much attack? Lord, can you give me a glimpse? A glimpse of my identity. Oh, Anointed woman, man of God, man. 
mighty weapons of God. Hear me now, hear me now, hear me now. Your years of weeping, your years of regrets, your years of sorrows, they are over. Because weeping will only endure for the night. But arise and shine because your light has come. You are the one to arise and the night season will end. of God listen you may find out after this conference that what you were afraid of is afraid of you too you will find out that the reason for the attack it was fear they were afraid of what will happen the reason for the temptation it was fear they know who you are and if they give you a pretty space they know what will happen then there is too small for you because out of your belly there is a river that has been boiled days. there is a river that wants to break out to them there is too small for some of you for some of you for some of you there is a season that is playing out now in look as though God has forgotten you in look as though the heavens don't know you again and it is a plan in Zion they want darkness to finish giving you the lectures that there is to know There's an army rising up. There's an army we are rising up. There's an army we are rising up. We will break every chains, break every chains, break every chains, break every chains. There's an army rising up. There's an army rising up. There's an army rising up. We break every chain. attention please you may be seated God bless you the next five minutes we are out of here listen please listen listen I need your attention now there is an ancient script playing out over different centuries and different ages it is a script that was the first three chapters of Genesis the first three verses of chapter one rather in the beginning Elohim God created sets chapter one verse one 
verse 2 and set became without form and void because the powers that be collided with him they came and they say where is he that is born light light of the north where is the blacksmith of the north and when they diagnosed it they choked it life with different kinds of attack but if the story ended here we have lost verse 3 said and God said let there be lights that is where every man rise from this is why from this army you will not find any proud man all of us know God everybody know where God is from you will not find any lofty man you will not find any high minded man all of us know where God brought us out from we were one in darkness until verse 3 came for everybody and said let there be light Isaiah chapter 60 verse 2 it says oh the darkness that kind of darkness again shall cover the earth and God will cover the people Isaiah 60 verse 1 says arise and shine why because your light has come why did you end your story in verse 2 why did you let the story end in and set became out for why did you stop the story at the place where it says and Elizabeth became without form and void there was a verse 3 the verse 3 is and God said let there be light take the next five minutes and this will be my last my last approach to this matter you use your mouth and decree like your father say let there be light over this destiny let there be light I don't care what has been going on something can happen oh your life can change oh let there be light oh light let there be light are you praying
that are walking in darkness have seen a great light. I need oil, extra oil to keep going. Extra to keep on. I need oil, extra oil to keep on.